Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Dvar Halacha. And here's a brand new Halacha for you, and it's for Tuesday the 19th of July, which is the 13th day of Tammuz. Here we go. Now, some more laws about uh, the three weeks as they rapidly approach, starting next week. Um, if you have a man who usually shaves his face daily for business purposes and for, you know, that's how it is done at his job, then it is it would be permitted for that man to continue to shave during the three weeks. However, if possible, he should try to refrain from shaving from Rosh Chodesh Av, in other words, the last nine days of the three weeks, if possible. Um, for haircuts, when we say no haircuts, we mean that for men and for ladies, both men and ladies should not take haircuts during the nine days. If a lady has excess hair around her temples and she's married and it's hard to cover that with her shetel or whatever, then if a little bit of trimming is necessary to make that uh, more viable, then yes, that kind of trimming would be allowed for that lady if necessary and if she wants. Um, married ladies, Rav Moshe Feinstein was asked this orally and as someone asked him, can a married lady shave her leg? Or, or, a, or a young lady of marriageable age, and he said yes, and even during the nine days. That's not the kind of haircut that, uh, that the rabbis were prohibiting during the three weeks at all. Um, during a bris, the moel, that's the man, of course, doing the actual circumcision, the sandik, that's the man holding the baby during the bris, and the father of the baby, all three of them are allowed to take shaves and haircuts in preparation for the bris. But during the week in which... Uh, in which it's actually uh, Tishbab landing, so we're stricter during that week, and they are told to refrain during that week. Nails, you can cut your nails during the three weeks, only during the week in which uh, Rosh Chodesh, I'm sorry, in the week in which uh, Tishbab actually falls, that week we try to ask people to curtail their nail cutting if possible. If a lady's going to the mikvah and needs to cut her nails in preparation for that, or if a man wants to cut his nails in preparation for Shabbos, and he wants to do that on Friday for the honor of Shabbos, then it would be permissible. A moel who has to cut his nails for the bris mila, for the circumcision, so he could trim his nails all whenever necessary if it's for a bris mila, because we want that to go uh, properly, and if he needs to do that, of course he needs to take care of that. Now here's a touchy one. You know, in old-fashioned times, uh, parents and or teachers used to sometimes hit students when necessary to, uh, for behavior reasons. And uh, when that used to apply, and it doesn't apply in our age anymore, generally, when it used to apply, the halacha would say not to do it during the three weeks. And that's because it's a time fraught with danger, and striking a person during a time that's fraught with danger is something we just frown upon. So that would be the halacha. So I guess it's more theoretical because nobody really is hitting their children anymore, not parents and or um, teachers. So, But if there would be occasion that somebody would feel that this is the occasion, so then you wouldn't do it during the three weeks. Thanks for logging on, and log on again for more. Bye-bye.